Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and thank you for tuning in and checking out this newest video. Uh, just to give a very, very brief little update, uh, you know, still on the mend, best way to put it, from the fall. It was, it was quite a fall, but, you know, things are still getting better. Still, you know, you got the pains, you got the aches, you got, you know, you just have to take it easy. That's the best way to put it, um, but on the up and up. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed for the best anyway. Uh, but while I've been taking it easy, I was watching some YouTube, I was checking the comments, and I saw the video first, and then some people actually kind of suggested the topic, and they said, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, there's a good video that I recommend, I think it's by CNBC, but it was called, uh, Why Isn't White Castle a Fast Food Giant? And it was a really informative video talking about the fast food chain, White Castle. Uh, that, you know, it's, it's known for their sliders, and, uh, really, that's, that's what they're known for. And, uh, you know, it was just saying, well, what's going on with them? Why haven't they expanded more? It was just a really detailed video. Um, but I wanted to give a few thoughts about White Castle myself. Now, I had grown up in New York, so I spent most of, most of my time in a very, you know, in, in a, in a area where White Castle is naturally abundant. Um, because otherwise you can get the frozen White Castle sliders, or you can go to the restaurants themselves and you can just get, you know, the freshly made sliders right there. So, when I was young, I would always go to White Castle, I would just, you know, go to the restaurant itself, get them, get them made fresh. And now, now that you kind of, you think back to the limited availability, uh, the fact that it's just, it's one of those places that the video said it well, they're just not available everywhere. Uh, I know that there's a bunch in like New York, New Jersey. Uh, I know there's a few also out in the Midwest, maybe a little further west. But once you start going into the southern U.S., they just they disappear. They uh, they pitter out. And while there are similar chains like Crystal, for instance, uh, here in Florida, right? Each of those is unique, and each has its benefits, its drawbacks, uh, its redeeming and and negative qualities. Uh, so White Castle truly is one of a kind for what it is. But White Castle, over the years, I've done a number of reviews for them. I've, I've tried out new releases, uh, their classic staples, and everything in between. One thing that I gotta say, though, and I, I think maybe you'll agree with it, maybe not. I would, I would actually like to hear from you. I'd like to know what you think about this, if you've ever had White Castle before. Uh, this is what it comes down to. They do have a diverse menu. They do have, sometimes they'll release like chicken uh, variants, right? They'll release even, I think they've released like turkey at one point. Everything that I try though, if it isn't the original slider, it just doesn't hold up to it. I think White Castle is one of these establishments that's known for this one thing that they perfected, that they did a good job with, that they, they made it their own. Uh, and that's their original slider. And of course, while some of their other derivatives and variants can be okay, I think just that freshly made slider that you can get right there in the restaurant, uh, nothing else on their menu even comes close to it. From everything that I've tried there, nothing else comes close. There's a few things that'll be like, yeah, it's okay, but it's just, it's not on that same level. But of course, for everyone else who just, I mean, like, like right now, right? The best I've got are the frozen microwavable white castles that you're able to heat them up and you're still able to get something, but is it as good as the real thing? Uh, let's try it out. And here we are with our frozen white castle slider. You can see right there, fresh out of the microwave. There I am kind of with it. There I am, it's, it's unfocused, now it's focused once again. Um, but you can see it's a very basic plain slider though you can see Still has the onions, right? It's still, it's always been a very basic slider. That's another thing that they've always been able to do well. It's not, it's not extravagant. It doesn't have all these sauces or any of that. It's just, it's got the beef. It's got the onions. That's all that you need. Cheese, of course, if you want. It doesn't have the pickles, though. That's the one thing. Or the ketchup, but it's very basic. Um, but let's just see, how does it hold up? Well, it does nail down right, the main flavor that you're looking for, it's just like anything that's frozen is never going to be as good as the original. I think that just comes down to freshness, uh, the overall quality, how potent the flavors are, right? You can still taste the meaty flavor, you can still taste the onions, 
Um, but you know, it just has like this dryness to it. It's it's it it fulfills that most basic need. If you're looking for something that kind of you know is obviously closest to the original White Castles, right? This gets the job done. But in the end, if you have the opportunity, always, always get it from the restaurant itself, made fresh, um, because I guarantee you, the frozen, good it might be, it just doesn't hold a candle to it. See, there's the candle for the, for the expression there. But it doesn't hold a candle to it. That's just what it comes down to. So White Castle, in the end, it has a niche. But when you're feeling it, in my opinion, it's there for you. And you gotta be in a certain mood, and if you are, it won't let you down. That's what it comes down to, anyway. So, hey, hopefully they'll expand a little bit, you know? <laughs> Fingers crossed, anyway. It'd be nice to see that happen. Um, but otherwise, you know, this is the next best thing. And, uh, you know, we just take what we can get.